Hey guys, my name is Peter. Thanks for stopping in with us again. We're going to be doing an installation on a Ram 1500. Um, the hitch we'll be putting on today is going to be a front mount hitch. The hitches uh, can be used for pushing a boat or trailer back into storage, or you can even use it as a front cargo carrier for whatever you'd like. It's got many different uses. You can also put on a plow, but uh, we'll go right into it and we'll show you how it's done. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. All right, so we got the hitch on our U-Haul exclusive uh, hitch mounting rack. Um, if you don't have one of these at home, you'll probably have to get a second pair of hands to help you with this. The hitches are heavy, um, so you do want to be safe while you're doing this. We'll be sliding this in towards the vehicle. Be getting this lined up. But what we'll want to do is just get this into position so we can Find out our notch points, because we will have to trim the front bumper here just slightly to get the hitch to fit into place. Now that we have the, just the two bolts holds, uh, holding into place so it does not slide back and forth. We can see how much we'll need to trim on the front bumper here so that we can get the hitch to go up into position. All right, so, so now that we have our hitch up into place, we're, the instructions call for eight inches of trimming, but for this particular vehicle, we don't need that much trim. What we're gonna be doing is trimming just the width of the receiver tube, and then we're gonna be doing an inch and a half up to this bottom lip here, that's the only piece that we'll be taking off for that to fit. So what we'll do is we'll make a straight up and down line here. One on the opposite side as well. And then just right across the top. Then you can pull your hitch down out of the way and start your trimming. All right, so for our trimming today, um, you can, it's just plastic fascia. You can pretty much use whatever you have laying around, um, aviation shears, um, anything like that. For us here, we do have our uh, air saw, so we'll be using that to do our trimming today. Now that we have this trimmed out, we can get a, go ahead and get our hitch put into position. It should slide up right, right in between where we just notched out. All right, so our attachment points are here underneath the vehicle. We are on the passenger side as of right now. The first bolt hole that we're gonna be putting in is right here. It's, gonna, it's a pre-threaded nut on the inside of this frame rail. We'll be putting it into place here, one on, the passenger, uh, one on the driver's side as well. And then once we have that up into place, we'll be using the hitch as a template to drill a hole in this area here for our secondary attachment point. All right, so, hitch into position here. All right, so now once we got these bolts in place and started, what you'll want to do is tighten them down because we'll be using the hitch as a template to drill. You don't want the holes to move around. So go ahead and tighten these down so it's snugged up so it doesn't move, and then we can go ahead and drill our holes. All right, so the hole that we'll be drilling is here, and we'll need to bring that up to a half inch we're just gonna start with a smaller bit first to get us uh, started, and then we're gonna be using a half inch reamer bit. Um, if you don't have one of these, you'll just have to use uh, regular drill bits until you get up to the half inch. Now we have our pilot hole drilled. We'll let go to our reamer bit.
Have our half inch hole. We'll have to do the same on the pass on the driver's side. All right. So before we can fish our fish wire our hardware into place, we notice that our. Um, plate here is just a little bit too big for the access hole, so we do have to notch out a little bit on the frame itself so we can get this plate to go in. Um, what I'll be using is a uh, air saw to notch out the sides on the uh, hole there and I'll show you uh, what it looks like when, when we have it done. So the sides that we notched out is this corner here and this corner here, just to make the access hole a little bit or larger diagonally so we can take our access plate and make sure it fits into the hole. And right, now that we have that hole large enough for our access plate to go through, we're going to take our fish wire, put it through the hole that we had drilled, go through that access hole where we enlarged, we'll be putting in our plate and our bolt and then we'll pull it through and we'll be able to put in our washer with the nut on it. You'll want to put in your plate first, separate from your bolt. And then we can put on our conical tooth washer with the teeth facing the hitch and the nut in place. Then we'll do the same on the driver's side. just be the flat washer with the conical tooth uh, facing the hitch with the nut on the back side. And now that we have these snugged into place, we'll want to pull these front ones back out since they were just our holders for the hitch itself. Well, Will has to have to still put in some conical tooth washers on the front bolts um, and I'll show you that here in a sec. So these front bolts, they have to have the conical tooth washer with the teeth facing upwards. We are using a impact with the 18 millimeter run, uh, socket to tighten it back down. But before you use the impact, you'll want to make sure that you get it back into the hole with a couple threads in. That way you don't cross thread anything. We'll snug this one back up. Okay. 
Once it's snugged up, we'll go ahead and use our torque wrench afterwards to torque it into spec. Okay, so these front bolts are going to be torqued down to 90 foot-pounds and the rear ones are going to be torqued down to 75 foot-pounds. So let's get those torqued down into place and get it done. And we'll do the back one. one here, this one will be a 19 millimeter nut, whereas the front one's an 18. All right, so this is what it looks like completed. The cross tube that goes across the vehicle is completely hidden behind the fascia here. The notch out that we did was pretty much right on. You got a two inch receiver opening here for your use. And then it's got also two tie down points, one on each side of the vehicle that you can use to tie on the vehicle with. Let's pull this thing off the ramp and get you some more important measurements that you can use for the future with any of your towing needs. All right, so quick couple measurements here from the uh, hole of the where you put your pin in to the front bumper is gonna be six inches. That way, in case if you have any accessories that come up with the post that goes up, you'll know how, how much of a space you'll need. And then another important measurement is from the ground to the top of the receiver tube here. It's gonna be a total of 10 inches. That way, in case if you need to go with a rise or a drop for any accessories or things that you're pushing into storage. Thanks for coming in and watching me install this front bumper hitch on this Ram 1500. Stop in again, we'll install more for you in the future. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.